Okay. I'm going to uh, show you guys how to get stuff in to Alt Space VR from Blender. Um, I like to start off with an old, a really old version of Blender. And I'm going to load it. I'm going to bring it into the screen. It's Blender 2.04. It's 25 years old. Just to show you that uh, Blender really hasn't changed much in years. Uh, it, the interface has changed, but the um, but it's still the same old Blender, and you can get in uh, you can get in blends from any time in the past, bring them right into uh, the newest version of Blender, and it should work. So this is what Blender looked like way back when. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to erase this object here, add a a text object and I'm gonna never mind that uh, flickering there that's called the double double buffering effect and uh, I'm going to change this text here to say alt space VR rules okay that's what's gonna be and I'm gonna Take this and center it on the origin and uh, scale it. Hit S to scale. Whoops. Uh, it doesn't matter. Scale it and I'm going to make it fairly big. Center it in the center here. Then I do an Alt C to convert it to a curve. Then I do another one to convert it to a mesh. And uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going to. Uh, Select the vertices in it and extrude them on, on the nearest axis. axis. And uh, notice that it's not flat. I mean, it's not uh, upright. So I need to do that first. I made it upright. Now I'm going to center the whole thing on the origin of the axis which is that little pink dot now I'll move that to the center maybe I'll do it a little more get it a little more centered and then uh, make sure that it's centered right no it's not scale grab hitting the wrong key and uh, this is what it looks like and I'm going to take the capital uh, letters and I'm gonna link 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 all the capital letters I'm going to separate I'm gonna give them different color add material they're going to be red and then I'm going to take the remaining ones and I'm going to give them a separate material and they're going to be white and whoops now I'm going to take everything we know what I just noticed only the front of the letters are actually red yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's see. Why is that? No, it, it, I think it's a mess. I don't think it's correct. Uh, let me grab this and see. Oh, there's that. Grab this. Thing. No, that's all right. I mean, let's make sure that that uh, assign. For some reason, it's not showing them up as red on the edges. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, they are. They are red throughout. And uh, then I'm going to join these back together again. Make sure I got them all selected. Control join. Join selected messages, uh, meshes. And then I'm going to export it. I'm going to save it first. I'll call it. Uh, Alt space VR rules. I've done this before. 
Um, okay, now I'll move that out of the way. I'll spring up in a newer version of Blender. This is going to take forever to load. Yeah. And it is 2.79B. And uh, let me need to size the window down to show you that it's changed a lot and it's uh, probably can't work in the same amount of space as the old version of Blender because of the the uh, widgets and everything that's got in it and it's really crammed now but we don't have to do much in it anyhow so I'm just going to go hit F1 select alt space VR rules there it is looks good and it's even showing it up correctly with the red on in the right spots I'm going to go to file export FBX and oh I have one thing I have to do is make sure that this doesn't have a camera in it and nothing else Let's see, make sure that, yeah, there's nothing else in there. So then I select, uh, make sure I got that selected. Let's see, okay. Export, FBX. And these are FBX's options. You can even export animations, supposedly. Um, related settings. I'll have to try that out some other time. Um, but just leave it as is. Let me see, where's the Ford? Um, I look at the old Blender thing and see where the Ford is. Um, let me get it empty in there and see what. I'm looking, at, I'm doing this on a different screen. Uh, Oh, I see. So the the forward is negative y. So forward is negative y, and up is is positive z. Z is up, yeah. And so all local. And it looks great and then you just go ahead and uh, save it out as all space VR rules FBX export then we take that away and we load up unity and unity will look like this and you get this version of unity it's 2.2018.19 f2 that's the exact version of unity you need and uh size this screen down so we fit in here the reason why I'm doing this why I'm sizing these things down oh I can't even do that with unity this is as small as unity wants to go you can't can't handle anything smaller well that's okay we'll just do it in part of unity screen and um, uh, another thing this is you want to go to your web browser and uh, I was looking up pictures uh, okay, let me type in, uh, type in, um, you go to Google, and in Google, you type up, uh, alt space VR, or it's, um, you got a site, alt VR, there it is, alt VR unity, altvr.com unity and then you select this the second one on the list so it's site colon altvr.com space unity and it'll bring you up this page and this is the right page to be looking for I'll size down this browser so we can get it all in this small square that we're working in here and uh it says join the SDK you can do it if you want to you don't really have to do it all you need is the uh, 
you, you want to look at the world building guide and then you want to go install unity hub you want this exact version of unity from um, the website then you go download the unity uploader and when you download this it's going to download the that thing and then you click on it and unity is open it will install it and then you need to put in your login and password to connect with you with uh, alt space and uh they talk they say create a template I, i'm not going to create a template i'm going to create a kit and the reason why i'm going to use a kit is because something i found out about the templates is they don't permit you to um, use um, the world editor in them. Um, it's like you upload everything as a template or or not. Um, and it's so much better just to load things in as kits and then add your objects uh, that you would, your worlds, your objects as, uh, as objects and uh, scale them up. Um, so that's what I that's why I choose to do and uh, so okay we'll go into assets import new asset and then we look for our FBX and it will be called alt space rules FBX select that hit import and then there will be a toolbox at the bottom and it's not showing up there it is it's way off the friggin screen let me see if I can bring it up okay I'll bring it up into the viewing space let's let's set, have it so we're like half and half all right so I can it's right here as they all let's see bring it over here it's that thing right there and uh, we drag and drop it there it is and it looks like it's got some ooh it's it's got normal problems uh that's kind of funky um shoot well there's a way to fix that but i'll just do it as is you know it's got normals pointing inwards and you want you're going to want to fix the normals on that before you bring them in let me see if i can do that in here edit um selection component mesh yeah i don't know where you do that in here but what you want is you want to have i should have i have the normals pointing inwards and when they're pointing inwards you can straight see straight through to the opposite to the to the um, faces that you should shouldn't be able to see and that's what this effect is that's what's creating this effect and uh, for some reason it doesn't it's not let me see the back faces um, unless their normals are pointing yeah I don't I don't know what to make of that okay but anyhow um, the normals are incorrect and so I'm just going to, let me see, make sure that that object is, it's the only thing in there. We don't have any lights, good deal. And uh, we don't want a camera. We don't want a camera within our kit. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top here. I'm going to name this kit Alt Space VR Rules. Alt Space VR Rules. And... I need to do this with the caps lock on off. Alt space VR rules. Rules. And you need to have the same name for the kit as you have for this folder. Uh, um, for So they will meet up with each other. And we're going to name the, uh, the asset. We're going to call it title. Is the name of the asset. We select the object over here then we hit convert game object to kit prefab it says it's created we take it down here we say create a new kit we have to do that first so it brings up our web browser and I'll, oh I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing let me show you what this is this is what this looks like right here 
and what I did first is I um I said alt space VR rules and uh, I got the title that that's the name of the object and whenever I clicked on the object it went ahead and it uh, or when I did convert game object to kit prefab it uh, turned that into a uh, kit prefab okay and then I clicked on this create new kit and that brings up the alt VR page for creating a kit and uh, we're going to call this alt space VR rules okay and description for a tutorial and uh, we don't need an image file we just hit create kit so it says kits created successfully and then we go back to here we say load kit prefab directories and we go to alt space VR rules and we say build and that takes some time and uh, once it's done uh, which will be in the, it hasn't done it yet it'll throw up a folder and then the folder will be a zip file and that's the zip file we need to upload to uh, to um, alt space it's still working I'll tell you when it's done or you'll know when it's done whenever it's okay come on it's thinking okay there we go and then we got a zip file in here it'll be called alt space VR rules there it is and uh, so there's the zip file then I go back into my to this and I say edit my kit and I go down to where it says zip file and I select that then I go and I look for my uh, my zip file which is in the new unity project folder I click on that and then I load up uh, alt space VR rules hit OK and then I hit update kit and when it's done it'll say kit was successfully updated then I go to artifacts and there it is now to to find it inside of my to find it inside of alt space we open up our alt space VR uh, for the PC and uh, I'm going to size down the screen so that it'll fit inside of the capture window. And uh, never bring never bring anything that's in your kits into your into your uh, into your space uh, into your home space because there's a chance that you might get a camera inside of the kit and you'll load in the object and it will it will screw up your camera. It'll it'll take your of avatars camera and um, it'll throw you onto the camera that's in the kit and you will no longer be able to navigate with your avatar and uh, and uh, I had to get a admin to come in and actually get rid of the artifacts from the kit uh, that were in my space uh, so that before I could get back into my space as an avatar um, so just don't use your kits inside of your space your home space now I'll go to a world one of my worlds and I'll load it in so I'll have to go to worlds my worlds and uh, there's my tutorial that that's my old tutorial I'm going to do another new one this is the one that I'm doing right now and I can uh, um, I'll go to let's see my comedy world I, maybe I'll go go to go to one that doesn't have anything playing in it if I've got anything uh, they're all got stuff playing in them uh, I'll go to my Dolph uh, my Dolph Fagan world and uh, I still I've got some objects already loaded in there 
and it plays Donald Fagan music while I'm, you know. The funny thing is that they're screwed up the PC browser so that uh, sound doesn't play over the uh, PC version for some reason. But uh, if you go to it inside the Oculus Go, you'll actually hear music in here. And uh, so uh, this is a bit of trivia. Steely Dan, what is a Steely Dan? It's a steam-powered dildo. So tell that to your to your parents. Or uh, if you're an older person, you'll probably be freaking out now. Yeah, it's a steel, steam-powered dildo is, is, what a, uh, is what a Steely Dan is. And it was that reason for, that they made it that name for a reason. The reason is because every single song in a Steely Dan album is a different band. So they would hit the G spot with every single song. So they get your good spot, but uh, they're lying to you if, if you thought that it, it was, uh, if the whole band was Steely Dan. It's not. It's only two guys that are the constants. The rest of the band changes. Anyhow, um, let's go into World Editor and select Mine Kits. And there should be one in there called Alt Space VR Rules. And uh, we select that one. And uh, then we get the title out of there. And it puts it into our space. And now we just need to size the sucker up. And uh, I, so I'll select this option and set it up to scale it to about 40 and confirm it and there we go and that can move it around and uh, it's uh, yeah there we go and then uh, yeah so it's in there and uh, if I turn to turn off everything you can see that it's still the normals are still flipped so it's still it's like the back it's like the back side solid you can see that there there there's back there is a back face but if you look from this side you can't see anything that's because of the normals um, the normal to the surface determines what gets drawn that's how they are able to um, able to render things so fast is that it only renders what you can see and whatever's pointing away from you it doesn't draw and that does that using uh, face normals and in this object the normals for the edges of the um, letters are facing inward and the normals for the uh, front what are supposed to be the front parts of the letter are facing um, they're facing backwards and they should be facing forwards um, if every if all the normals were facing outwards it would look like a solid object but if you went inside of it you wouldn't you would be able to see through it uh, the stuff it's the reason whenever you go into another whenever you're walking around and you go into someone who's an avatar you go inside of them and you can't see any you can you can see through them and uh but as you're going away from them you start to see more of their solid parts but in but uh you see the cutaway and you can see through them the reason why is because their avatar all the polygons are the normals are pointing outwards so you can only see them from the outside and from the inside you don't see anything you see you um you see nothing. I mean, you see the, the the space that's behind them, and that's because um, we never in in computer graphics it's um, inefficient to to show both sides of a surface. Um, it's more efficient to use the surface normals to determine what gets drawn, and so the stuff that's pointing away um, doesn't get drawn usually. But in this case, the stuff that's pointing away is getting drawn because it's not pointing away, it's pointing directly at you. And it's pointing inwards, it's not pointing outwards. And so I can give you a little bit of info about a normals. I mean, let's go in here and I'll show you what the normals of this object are. 
and we go to the mesh buttons. Ooh, this is, is this the new version? No, this is the old, no, this is the new version. Wait one second. This is the new version of, oh, let's do it in the old version. Um, that's, the, that's the new version of Blender. I was looking at that, I was like, wait one second. This is the old, old version of Blender. Oh, look, there's a way to get it to show the normals. You say draw normals, and then you increase the size of the normals. You can only see it whenever you're in this view. Let's see. Let's see. Draw. I've got normals on. Why is it not drawing the normals? Draw the faces. Draw. Oh, oh I know. There it is. Aha. You, have, you can only see it in wireframe. That's right. And. What a normal is, is it's a vector pointing. Um, a vector is a is is used in mathematics, uh, in what's called vector calculus. Um, it's a higher form of mathematics, and um, what they use it for is they use it to um, to represent uh, points in space and uh, magnitudes, things that have a direction that, so things that are moving like particles. A particle would be like a vector. And uh, as you can see on this object, if you look at it, all the friggin' normals are pointing inwards. Now, I didn't notice that. In the old version of Blender, it, it draws both the front-facing and the back-facing polygons. Um, but I didn't notice that the normals were pointing inwards. Had I noticed that, I would have taken the full object and I would tell it to recount the normals. And so you do that by... I think there's this thing in here that says recount normals. Um, oh, there's flip normals and I'll fix it. And so... If I, if I had the normals pointing in the right direction, now they're pointing in the right direction. And, uh, but I think there's a recount normal. I, mean, I think it's in. No. It's uh, Alt or Control in. Recount normals outside. That will fix all the normals and will make them point in the right direction. So the normals on the back end are pointing in the right direction. Normals on the front end are pointing outward. So if the normal's pointing outward, then it's going to appear solid whenever you bring it into alt space. And I just wasn't in, I just wasn't uh, thinking about that whenever I created the object. But there you go. That's uh, getting the stuff into alt space VR. And uh, you should be able to, and if you need to put more than one object in the same kit, uh, all you do is you just, specify the same kit, the same folder name, then you just name it a different, the kit asset a different name, then you go in, you imp you go to assets, assets, import new asset, then you load in your FBX, and then you get rid of everything but the, uh, but the um, thing that you loaded in, you click on that, and you go over here, and you set the name of the of the new asset name then you hit convert game objects to kit prefab and make and you've already got a kit in VR so you don't need to add that and then you say load kit prefab directories and then you say build this thing over again and once it gets built it, it's going to build everything that's in the kit you know so even the things that uh that we're already there and then once it's built it will have a zip file and then you just load it up into uh, alt space make sure that the folder name is the same as the kit name in alt space otherwise it's going to give you an error message that'll say kit um, bundled asset uh, uh, not found and then it'll give you a suggestion that you have to name them the same so you name them the same and then you go ahead and uh, 
once it's uploaded after you've gone into the kit and you've uh, uploaded the zip file it will uh, you should be able to find it in artifacts and once it's in there you can use it and another thing is is that um, with kits that's really cool um, you might not like this I don't know anybody that you're friended with have access to your kits as well so um, if you you're pretty much making when you make a kit you're pretty much making it for everybody that you're friend with and they can go in and they can load in the the objects you got and and uh, put it in their world so you just keep in mind of that um, you can't really get around it unless you just choose to not be friends with anybody and then you won't uh, be able they won't be able to use what's in your kit there might be a way, let me see if there's a way to make that stuff private. Oh, it says share with friends. Oh, yeah, I guess that's where you say that. Share with friends, add friend. Okay, so I guess it, it's only, it only, uh, it get, shares them with the friends you share them with, I guess. I, I thought it shared it with everybody. So then, yeah, that's that. And... You should be able to go ahead and uh, bring it into your world and everybody see how cool that object is that you brought in, you know. And you'll be saying, it's like nothing. I just uh, I just kind of uh, thought it into existence. And in reality, we were looking at my tutorial. Okay. There you go. Um, I'm going to cut off the tutorial now.